Hello, my name is uh, Gertjan Kramer. I work in the energy industry. I work at Shell most of my days, where I look at uh, the future of energy, what uh, the world should try to aim at and what, what opportunities there are. And one day a week I work uh, in academia at the University of Leiden, thinking about sustainable energy in particular. But it's brought me to this uh, eco-efficiency conference is, um, well, basically coming to grips with um, the, the issue of what is energy efficiency and what can it be for, for the energy future and for the energy system as we progress from where we're now to, say, the middle of this century, by which time uh, we, humanity, hope to have achieved uh, an enormous reduction in, in the carbon intensity of, um, uh, of our, our energy system. Now, that's a huge challenge, and if you look at many of the projections, many of the scenarios, and you see that always uh, energy efficiency uh, looms very large uh, in that. It is basically that thing uh, which uh, has to met uh, or has to bridge b between the enormous growth in energy demand that we all see, primarily because, well, people in the developing world actually develop and therefore require and, and want and, and get access to modern energy services. While at the same time here in, in, the, in the West, huh, we, we still have a pattern to increase our energy consumption. So an enormous, uh, a great appetite and an ever increasing appetite for energy. On the other hand, uh, we see that the supply side is very much constrained. Huh? We want to um, phase out fossil fuels or at the minimum the emissions that are associated with it. And we're confronted with the fact that clearly uh, we, we do want and we can uh, grow renewables to provide a significant part of the mix. But it's coming from a low base, so it will take time. And in fact, uh, we now somewhat belatedly realize uh, we, we may not have that time, at least not comfortably, because uh, if uh, we look at uh, what uh, the IPCC says, what, what the best climate science tells us, uh, is that we have to get on a trajectory of a um, yeah, very steep carbon reduction. That's an awful challenge to deliver on the demand side. And that is why everybody is looking at uh, efficiency improvements. Now the trouble with energy efficiency uh, is that it's actually uh, by itself and without further specification, uh, it's got a poor track record of, of delivering reduction uh, in, in energy consumption. That's in fact been known for over one and a half century, and huh? going back to the work of Jevons in the, the coal days in England, we did a study for coal, and to his great surprise found that even though uh, steam engines had become much more efficient I in the previous decades, in, in the 19th century, the use of coal had actually gone up. Right? So the, 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 the more efficient we are with the, the use of, of, of energy, the, 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 the more we seem to, to want of it. And strikingly enough, uh, one and a half century later, we still have that problem. So I think we need a sharper definition, uh, each of us, basically every citizen who is looking at this, uh, to think about what do we really mean. Huh? There is no doubt uh, that efficiency is a great good, because uh, by itself, uh, what, what it says is we, we get the most benefit uh, out of a resource, uh, out of a scarce resource. But it doesn't, uh, by itself, limit the, the use of that resource. Well, that is, in fact, I think, more properly called conservation or saving, something same, that, that is often intermixed uh, in colloquial use with efficiency. But I think going forward, we, we must have a clear understanding that those are two different things. Thank you. Enjoy the conference.